Meghan Markle's half-brother Thomas Markle Jr. appeared in an Oregon court Wednesday to answer to his January arrest for driving under the influence. Dressed in a collared short with a checked print, dark blue jeans and a black jacket, the 52-year-old of Grants Pass, casually stood with his hands in his pockets during the hearing. It was a stark contrast as he appeared alongside a legal rep who donned a gray suit jacket with thin pinstriped shirt and a colorful tie. The pair nervously exchanged words with a judge at Josephine County Circuit Court a few weeks after he was pulled over on a Josephine County Highway by state police at 1.33 am. According to a police log, Markle Jr. was visibly intoxicated and the arresting officer administered a standardized field sobriety test. He was taken to Grants Pass Sobriety Center where he was found to have a BAC level of 0.11%. The blood alcohol limit was 0.8%. Records show Markle's green Chevy Silverado was towed. Markle Jr. explained after the incident that he got caught behind the wheel after arguing with his partner at a bar about when to go home. He told the Mirror he and Darlene Blunt continued an altercation in his vehicle and at their home after she wouldn't stop playing slot machines. When he left the property to escalate the situation, he hopped into his truck but was arrested when law enforcement pulled him over and he couldn't walk in a straight line at their request because his leg was in pain. In an interview with DailyMail.com earlier this month, the window fitter revealed he and fiancé Blunt will tie the knot in March. The pair have been together for more than two years but have endured multiple alcohol-related incidents that have seen both arrested. Blunt, 38 was arrested in late July at the couple's Grants Pass home after she allegedly blacked Markle Jr.'s eye. The two quickly reconciled and Markle Jr. would later state the incident was an accident and begged the judge to lift Blunt's no-contact order. Markle Jr. told District Attorney Michelle Enfield in November that the couple want to be together and have quit boozing, as well as undergoing therapy. I explained to the lady at the DA's office that we've had ups and downs in our relationship. We both have troubled pasts. A lot of trauma from our past experiences and that we're both really getting to know each other and sometimes, if we do drink a little bit too much, those buttons get pushed really easy. We get in some pretty good arguments and stuff like this happens. But I explained to her, I said we're getting couples counseling, individual counseling and we've drastically just cut alcohol and beer out of our lives. In January 2017. Markle Jr. was arrested at his Oregon home after pulling a gun on his now fiancé during a drunken altercation. Blunt told cops she had been in fear for her life and he spent two nights in the Josephine County Jail as a result, although the case was dropped the following month. Blunt was again previously collared after another drunken argument and bizarrely accused Markle Jr. of hitting himself during a 911 call with local cops.